Hi hey guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna review Istola the Sorceress. So she is a free mage. So let's compare her to Gentiana and Dragonian Princess Fina to see what kind of difference, okay? And if you take a look on her stats, I must say, wow, I'm pretty impressed because she gets even higher magic boost compared to Dragonian Princess Fina, okay? She also gets 150% true double hand magic, which is same like Dragon and Princess Fina. So yes, they don't compromise her stats. But for her passive, I must say it's kind of lacking, okay? Because like you can see, she doesn't have anything uh, special, okay? But her no killers, no fatal damage protection. So yes, just bland passives okay so nothing special and maybe the only thing worth mentioning here is she has full limit burst at the start of the battle why i talk about this because she is free and that mean everyone's gonna have her and if you have full lb characters at the start of the battle they are really nice to be used on farming event. You can only simply uh, make sure your auto feature turn on. So you only need to enter the battle and yes, every turn they will cast their LB and I think that's powerful enough to kill the waves within one turn. Okay, that's what I have been doing lately when we have gotten King Mog event. So I must say it is pretty nice for Istola the Sorceress. Okay, so enough about stats. Now let's talk about ability. So yes, she is a Chaos Wave Chainer, so she cannot chain with newer mages, which is a shame because she has access to six elements. So there are eight elements on this game. So basically she has access to all elements except for light and dark, okay? Wow, pretty amazing. But only for elements which are available on the start of the battle. For water and ice element, you need to cast them to unlock them, okay? But that's not a big deal, I guess. Only one turn, okay? And yes, basically, you will start attacking the enemy on the second turn. That's why I say it's not important for that water unlock, okay? And once you unlock them, I think it lasts forever. Except for, yes, you die. So you want to keep her alive on the battle. And she has also a support abilities. Okay, actually, there's only one cooldown ability, 40% damage mitigation and 2000 health barrier. That is really nice, guys. So, yes, usually we use 30% damage mitigation until we have that 50%. But if you use Istola, you can have 40% instead. So, very nice. And the things which I don't like is she doesn't have Imperil. And if you take a look on the damage, I believe you say that, whoa, they are not impressive, okay? I admit it, they are not impressive, but remember, she is a free character, and she has access to quadcast 27 times, for it's 108 times. So I think that's quite high for a free mage like her, okay? And if you take a look on Furcula, she is about on par with operative mage Zyrus. Okay, so, well, pretty amazing, I must say. Okay, because he was one of the top tier mage, and we have this for free. Okay, so that means I can say that this Istola can be used comfortably until Scorn of the Weak Moon Trial. Okay, after that, I think it's still possible to use her, but you need to have some extra gearing. And the setup, I must say, is quite easy. Basically, she only have that one damage modifier boost ability. So you can check it on the status screen easily. If you cannot see boosted damage, you 
can simply recast your damage boosting ability and that's it and her setup on the first turn will be always master of the elements to unlock her quad cast and yeah you can use the damage boost setup and yes you need to use the real damaging chaos wave and pay attention that her chaos wave is consecutive damage ability so be careful not to let her die okay because you need to reset again if she dies okay and her lb mm, it unlocks your quad cast too but yeah it deals win element so yes i guess it is nothing special because she cannot imperil the enemies okay so enough about abilities let's talk about partner like have been mentioned before she cannot chain with newer mages so yes the best partner is the older mage so for art element you can use free mage zandi okay and also circe or dark mage x that for fire you can pair her with sukiko and soul whoa soul is actually i must say he is good okay and sukiko you can create interesting party here because remember that sukiko is also able to become breaker but yeah maybe not 80 percent but still perfectly usable okay i can say it, okay for ice you can also pair her with gentiana who is also free so for faction players this combination are really good if you don't have newer mages and need to clear uh, dark vision okay and the best partner forever is of course the leafy chantoto because she also has access to six elements but i think leafy chantoto damage output is about half of the uh Istola damage output okay so kind of bad but the good thing about characters i just mentioned recently is they able to imperil the elements so yes they really works well with Istola the sorceress okay so yes i believe use them if you don't have chaos with awakened mage for dark vision okay and for trials like i said she is good and yes i believe she can be used even on newer trials but yeah you need some extra setup but yes for trial until scorn of the weak moon i can say she can obliterate them easily okay but for newer trials i suggest you to use newer mitch so in about partner and trial let's talk about equipment so she is a true double hand mage so equip her with true double hand weapon i mean the one which has 50 percent equipment magic but the bad news is yes it is stmr weapon in Ari broom but don't worry too because you can get lots of good free road like asura's road etc okay sandy's throat yes really easy to equip i must say Okay, so in about equipment, my conclusion for Istola the Sorceress. So yes, I like her very much, okay. They really give gave us uh, real decent free units lately. Same for Istola the Sorceress, but my complaint here is... Sorry, she is not as versatile as physical free unit. Because remember that... Uh, Fenrir Edel and Kadach able to chain with meta premium characters. Okay, Absolute Mirror of Equity, Stardust Ray. But for this Istola, wow, she was amazing. But really, guys, I hope they improve her into Chaos Wave Awakened Chaining Family because, wow, that will be very good guys okay we can see lots of interesting combination because yes i must say that maybe only 25 percent chaos wave chainer can be used comfortably on recent trial okay but yeah maybe until 
Scorn of the Weak Moon, like Soul. That's those characters are still good, but oh my god, for like Circe, yes, Circe is also good. Was also good, okay. But for today's standard, Circe was really totally outclassed, okay. So it is kind of sad to see this Istola this good and cannot chain with newer mages, okay. That's all my complaint. But still, the fact is, she is really good for Chaos Wave Chainer and can become a nice budget Dark Vision chaining partner for older mages. Okay, and yes, the only weakness is she doesn't able to imperil, but like I say, she needs to be paired with Chaos Wave Awakened Chainer. And so far, the characters who I have mentioned before able to imperil the elemental resist so it is not a big problem okay and the trust master reward and STM are I must say they are mediocre not bad okay but yes nothing special basically they are just a uh, magic boosting abilities okay so yes mediocre okay so yep I think that's all you need to know about Istola the sorceress sorry for really late review Thank you very much for watching, press the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave X VS Guide. Bye bye guys!